five hundred twenty million years ago, in the Cambrian period, this ferocious beast was born. The Ani, <coughs> Kafra. Let's start with where the life of the Anacophora begins. There are two families of the Anacophora, Peripatidae and the Peripatopsidae. Their Peripatopsidae reproduce sexually, while the Peripatidae also reproduces sexually, but one species produces asexually. Velvet worms are protostomes, meaning that the mouth develops first. Over 13 months, a baby worm grows, develops, and is eventually born. They will then live between 6 to 7 years. Hi, I'm Sammy, and I'm an Anicophora, or a velvet worm. I live in tropical areas where it's moist because water loss is a little bit of an issue. I have teeny papillae, or small scales, on my skin that repels excess water so that I don't overhydrate. The little openings all over my body are called trachea. These trachea are the openings where I breathe out of. These openings never close, which is a little dangerous because it puts me at risk for dehydration. But that's why we live in tropical areas, so that we can stay hydrated. These little things are called lobopods, but they don't really help me move that quickly. I also use hydrostatic locomotion, which is when the circular and longitudinal muscles contract against the fluid in the cavities between them. It doesn't make me move any faster, but I don't mind moving slowly. Do you see these big chompers in my mouth? Those are jaw claws, made of chitin and shred up my food. You're probably wondering how I catch my prey. Psst, guess what? I shoot out slime! I can shoot the slime out of my front legs up to three feet away! The slime solidifies within seconds and immobilizes my prey so it can't escape. Oh, and the slime has powerful enzymes that enter the prey's body cavity and causes the insides to liquefy, and I get to drink it up like a smoothie. Where did I come from? Well, Sammy, it all started 520 million years ago. Boudreaux proposed a monophyletic classification scheme that recognizes three lineages in the phylum Arthropoda, Trilobita, Calicerata, and Mandibulata. Mandibulata includes all arthropods that have chewing mouthparts, crustacea, myriapods, and insects. At least one group from these arthropods, the crustacea, continued a marine lifestyle, while myriapods and insects adopted a terrestrial lifestyle. But Boudreaux's classification scheme excludes Onychophora because they lack a true exoskeleton. But in 1991, Miglich and Schramm defined four groups in the phylum, Trilobita, Calicerata, Crustacea, and Uniramia. Uniramia is made up of insects, myriapods, and Onychophora because of similarities in leg structure and locomotion between them. In 1977, Manton published his finding of a fundamental difference between the appendages. Crustacean appendages are two apical units attached to a single basal unit, whereas insects and myropod appendages are single apical segments attached to a single basal segment. Manton also believed that all other arthropods that evolved from Annelida worms were more similar to the Onychophora than Crustacea. Anderson learned that initial cell division in Crustacean embryos is a spiral cleavage, whereas the eggs of all other arthropods are superficial cleavage, and the eggs of all known Annelidids are spiral cleavage. An interesting fact is that Onychophora are considered living fossils because they have not changed over the 520 million years of their existence. Therefore, scientists can use it to determine the evolution of arthropods. By the information stated previously, it can be seen that the trees created in the Biology 111 class do not completely reflect the phylogenetic trees found in the research because of the depth of research that went into creating these trees. The Onychophora's closest relative, according to the data matrix tree, is Anthropoda. According to the 16S tree, Onychophora's closest relative is Mollusca. The difference in these two trees is that Mollusca is the sister taxa of Onychophora in the 16S tree, and Anthropoda is the sister taxa in the data matrix tree. This could be due to the similarities of eyes, antenna, and segmentation as listed in the data matrix. Wow! I learned a lot today!
today. I hope you did too.